are being indicated that trees are down in some areas like Springfield and obviously some hail. This tornado warning actually remains in effect until 515 for East Hampton County as well as extreme southeastern Hampshire County. Harvey? Okay, let's keep the graphic just as it is. And you're right about that uh, warning staying in effect until 515. Here's the very latest. A Doppler radar it continues to indicate a tornado located now near Wilbraham, also near Springfield. It's moving east to 20. Now, other locations in the warning area include, but aren't limited to, Palmer and Monson. Many trees are now reported down in the Springfield area. There have been reports of a funnel cloud. Also, one inch of hail was reported in Springfield. Unconfirmed report of a possible tornado that was on Memorial Drive in Chicopee. So that's the latest information that we have. We're going to stay with this, of course, because the tornado warning is staying in effect until 515, as you can clearly see. Now, if you look at the storm tracker, you can see the towns that are lined up to get some of the cells there, as you can see, Belcher Town and also Palmer, Ware and Hardwick as well. Uh, also, golf ball size hail has been reported in Ludlow. So that is really significant. That's enough to do some damage in and of itself. So we know we're dealing with hail, we're dealing with wind damage, we're dealing with very severe thunderstorms and possibly a tornado. There has been at least a funnel cloud. We know that. Don't know for sure if it's made its way all the way down to the ground. There was that unconfirmed report of a possible tornado that had been on Memorial Drive in Chicopee. So that's the latest on that. In some of the graphics, if we just switch over for a moment to uh, Weather One, uh, you will be able to see that tornado warning that's in effect. Again, that's the area. If we uh, can switch to what we have it there, there you see it. So that's what's in effect until 515. And here you see where there's severe thunderstorm warnings in effect, similar areas with the additional area up north as well. It is a full squall line as the satellite enhancement has shown. The sun has popped out, the air has become humid, the temperatures have risen, and now a disturbance comes through and all of that is what combines to create that squall line that you can clearly see there. And again, you can see the rotation of the cell right there just to the east of Springfield. You see it as we take a closer look at it as well. That's the area of greatest singular concern right now. You see all the magenta colors, probably the hail. There's all the lightning that's accompanying the cell east of Springfield as well as the rest of the squall line as well. David, I know you have a little more. Yeah, and what we're getting is we're actually monitoring some Twitter feeds from that area, some eyewitness accounts. Now, these are unconfirmed, just to let you know, unconfirmed reports of the possibility of a tree on a house, for example, on Paramount Street in the Springfield area. So the storm has an eerie similar appearance to the fact that we've had just the damage there on June the 1st, and we are getting more reports of either tornadoes on the ground or obviously the fact that severe thunderstorms are pressing in through central Massachusetts, western Massachusetts, in areas like Palmer, Monson, and Springfield. If we can once ago, and Ludlow. Let me yeah. just mention this, David. Uh, in Ludlow, we are getting some reports now of extensive, extensive damage in Ludlow. Uh, police are reporting that. So Ludlow looks like a town that's been hit straight on by either an extremely severe thunderstorm, possibly a tornado. We don't know, again, if that made its way down to the ground, but we know we're dealing with damage, which is the single most important thing to mention. Remember, severe thunderstorms, some of them can have microbursts, downbursts. They themselves can cause an awful lot of damage. Obviously, we all know tornadoes can cause an awful lot of damage as well. Uh, this is a serious situation. We don't want to underscore it in any way. It's a serious situation. The atmosphere does not seem quite as ripe as it was back on June 1st. However, you have to take this completely seriously because any tornado, any severe thunderstorm, of course, can do damage, can be life-threatening. You've got the lightning, you've got the hail, you've got the damaging winds, and you have the flooding rains. And it's all part of a squall line. So even if you're not around the Palmer area, the Brimfield area, the Ludlow area, uh, Springfield, remember, if you go north, you can see now approaching where in, this, in the northern part of that line, central part of the line. Also, a strong thunderstorm has come through Amherst. So it's all moving off to the east, the entire line, with the greatest concern, that area that's gone from Springfield roughly and on to Ludlow and now moving through Palmer and approaching Brimfield. So let's repeat what we're talking about. A tornado warning is in effect until 515. That's 30 minutes from now. Reports unconfirmed of either tornado signature indicated tornado in and around the Chicopee area. We have reports of some extensive damage or some damage at least in and around the Springfield area. 
Ludlow. Of course, what uh, Storm Team 5 live Doppler weather radar, what you're looking at right now is a clear example of the squall line that currently is shifting its energy right along 202, right along the Mass Pike, kind of dissecting far central and western Massachusetts. And it clearly indicates that the storm is moving, whether it's going to be a tornado or whether it's just a severe thunderstorm. As Harvey mentioned, severe thunderstorms can do equal amount of damage from microburst to downburst to golf ball size hail to winds in excess of 60, 70, 75 to 100 miles an hour. This actual storm complex appears to be riding up and over the Mass Pike. Already, perhaps within the next 25 to 30 minutes, approaching and moving into far western Worcester County. We're talking about North Brookfield, Leicester, and eventually Worcester. Not saying that the storm will hold together as it continues to move into central Massachusetts, but this squall line storm is already moving in through uh, Western Mass. What I'm going to do now is actually stop the laps, which uh, takes uh, just a couple of seconds, and I'm going to put on our storm tracker. We're going to add our storm tracker fan. What I'm going to do is actually pinpoint the Palmer area. The storm, as Harvey mentioned, is moving either to the east between 15 and 20 miles an hour. And once I put the storm tracker on, you can see that it's going to be or up and over the Palmer area either right now or within the next five to six minutes. Let me move this so you can actually see the storm complex. Uh, Brookfield within the next 42 minutes. Charlton within the next 63 minutes. We are getting some reports from police activity that Ludlow has seen some damage. Visibility in that area reduced to near zero because of the pouring heavy driving rain. Ludlow police indicating that there is some damage, some tree damage, trees on roof. We are getting some unconfirmed reports from our Twitter feeds from central and western Massachusetts that a tree is on a house on Paramount Street in the Springfield area and that uh, either a tornado had been on the ground, is on the ground in the Chicopee area or a Doppler indicated tornado in and around that area. So this whole storm complex from uh, central Massachusetts Western Mass beginning to move into the area. So we're talking about where eventually no North uh, Brookfield and Brimfield. Harvey? Okay, I uh, just spoke to my brother-in-law on the phone who happens to live in Ludlow. Of course, Ludlow is a town. Doesn't mean every part of Ludlow gets affected as every other town, but he told me that uh, he has this wonderful vegetable garden which has basically been destroyed. He has hail that's covering the ground completely. He's definitely lost at least some tree limbs. Uh, visibility was so low, so he's not completely sure whether a severe thunderstorm came through the area or whether it was tornadic. He's not, not been able to make that determination, but he has, uh, he's fine, uh, but he has suffered uh, some damage at that particular location in Ludlow. And again, we do know that uh, Ludlow is an area that obviously, as we suspected, has been affected significantly by the storm as it's moved eastward. Now, once again, you can see we have the storm tracker on it to give you about the number of minutes that towns are going to be affected by at least a very strong thunderstorm, and that's uh, Palmer. You see, uh, of course, also Charlton. That's about an hour away from that line as it moves east. So Harvey, um, yes. Of, uh, manipulate and actually edit some of these names just so we can get a few more towns, a few more locations in there. For example, you mentioned Glen Heights within the next 58 minutes, Charlton within roughly right. the next well, hour. David, it's also yeah. possible to loop that as, yeah, let me loop that for uh, you. as we're also looking at there that. So go. this way people get a chance also to see the direction that it's moving at. You could see it looks like it's moving uh, slightly south of due east or basically east-southeast. So areas like Brimfield should be of concern and uh, obviously seek shelter whether it's inside or whether it's in your safe place. We're talking about an interior section, bathroom, closet, or even a basement. Right. Now, you know, it, it, it looks like some of the deeper magenta colors, which often can mean hail, uh, look like they've lessened a little bit, but that doesn't mean we're comfortable about this. For one thing, these storms can tend to pulsate, meaning they sometimes give you the false illusion that they're weakening a little bit and then they flare up again. So we're certainly not uh, indicating anything like that. You also see just southwest of Brimfield, between Brimfield and Hamden, uh, we have a more enhancement of that particular cell down in there. And you know what, Harvey, let me actually put our storm tracker on that particular cell. What I'm going to do now is actually stop the lapse, and then I'm going to delete what appears to be storm number five, which is just the, the fifth storm that we've decided to track. I'm going to delete that, and then what appears to be the strongest colors of magenta down just to the south of the Palmer area. I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to put the storm tracker on that to show you that yeah in Brimfield in about 16 minutes Old Sturbridge Village uh, once again perhaps getting hit by either a very strong thunderstorm with as Harvey's been talking about and we are getting some reports from the Ludlow area from Springfield from Ludlow police of the possibility of golf ball size hail of very strong and damaging winds so Sturbridge within the next 34 minutes Southbridge within the next 41 minutes so as Harvey's been mentioning the storm is moving to the east roughly at uh, to a 15 to about 20 miles per hour and appears to be concentrated in the Palmer, Ludlow, Chicopee, 
and perhaps moving into the Brimfield area within the next 15 to 20 minutes, moving in and around uh, eastern Hamden County, also including parts of south central Hampshire County, all in western Massachusetts. Just to update you that the tornado warning is in effect until 515 for those counties. Once again, it's mainly Western central Massachusetts. Of course, we've been talking about with tornado safety. Uh, move to the lowest level of any building if you want to switch over to weather one. If you're traveling in a vehicle in that area, I know it's uh, too late for, for you if you're in a vehicle now, but get out of that vehicle. Get out of that mobile home. Get in and around an outside location. Get to a low flat location and of course watch out for debris it could be whether it's from an actual tornadic activity a tornado on the ground or perhaps from a microburst from a very strong thunderstorm a thunderstorm that is strong enough to actually produce golf ball size hail we do have a new tornado warning in effect for south central worcester county this is until 5 30. so this actual storm which originated in central massachusetts in hampshire county hampton county is now moving to the east and will be affecting south central Worcester County. We need to alert you that this is in effect until 530. Some locations in the warning include Monson, once again Monson, Stafford, Brimfield, Wales, Holland, Union, Sturbridge, Southbridge, and Eastford. As our Storm Team 5 live Doppler weather radar indicates, in about 15 minutes the storm is actually going to be up and around the Brimfield area. Okay, I, I think we for a moment should switch over to Weather 1 just to remind everybody about tornado safety. Once again, the most important thing is to be in the lowest level of your home, away from the exterior, away from the roofs, away from the uh, outside walls. You want to be in the interior part of the home as best you can, the lowest level if you can as well. Uh, as you look at that, I'm going to let you know that uh, here's some of what we have already know. At 417, a funnel cloud was reported in East Hampton. At 426, three-quarter inch hail in West Springfield. At 427, a 70 mile per hour gust in Hamden. Also, an 80 mile per hour gust then was reported in Hamden. A funnel cloud at 430 was spotted in West Springfield. One inch hail was spotted in Springfield field at 436 in Ludlow one and three quarter inch hail that was reported at 442 and we know there's thunderstorm wind damage in Springfield as of 445 we do have some reports of trees down on a building possibly with some people trapped inside in the Indian Orchard area this is around Springfield there are also trees that are uprooted in that vicinity so that's the very latest we have in terms of the damage uh, that's been caused already by this situation. So as David just mentioned, that tornado warning, which was in effect at 515, we now have one that's been extended to the southern part of Worcester County until 530. So that's the newest information uh, we have on that. I also wanted to be able to show you as you're glancing at the storm tracker, just a couple of other things. If we just briefly switch over uh, to weather one here, we'll be able to show you now you could see the more extensive area uh, that the tornado warning is with the severe thunderstorm warning affecting other areas as well. Again, it's that disturbance that's moving right in on satellite imagery. It's a line of storms, as you can see there. A closer look, you see the hail marker with that possible tornadic cell, the one that's east of Springfield, approaching southern Worcester County. That's the rotation symbol meaning at least at the base of the clouds, rotation is indicated and radar has been indicating possible tornadic activity with that cell. You also see the concentration of lightning in the area of greatest concern now along the Mass Pike, east of Springfield. All of that travels with the cell. Here's a wider look. Remember, it's a complete squall line. So even if you're north or south of the tornado warning area, you can still expect a strong thunderstorm. Any thunderstorm can contain hail, damaging winds. Of course, we know that flooding rains and and the vivid lightning is always an issue as well. David? All right, I put up another storm tracker, Harvey. If we can go over to Weather 2, this indicates that the storm that we're watching closely, first of all, we're watching that entire area. We've had a watch since early this afternoon across western Massachusetts, and really within the last hour, last 45 minutes, this watch has been upgraded to a tornado warning, as Harvey been mentioned, starting at 417 this afternoon. The actual storm that we're watching, the one